The move from CTO to CEO, briefly touch on how's that been for you? Officially it's been a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's officially, yeah, it's probably really been a couple of months. Um, it's fine. So, you know, I came to Tenstorrent to support Tenstorrent and BG any way I could. Uh, we're starting to expand our business. We're talking to way more customers. We're in the process of raising some money. We're talking to investors. Like the next year is going to be massive distractions. And so, and then I've hired some additional staff. You've met David, we've met Bob, we, we hired Keith Wittick. Uh, we, we're bringing a few other people on board to extend, expand our ability to do stuff. Uh, Labiche has basically been on fire working on software stuff. I think, yeah, for both of us, it's been good. Uh, we need to go make some money. We need to execute on a bunch of things. But the, the fundamental challenge of the company is, is technology development. And the software problem is mysteriously hard as everybody yep. knows, and um, we think we're making real progress. So, yeah, I'd say on the whole, that, that's been pretty good. I speak to a lot of machine learning companies, mm -hmm. and obviously they have the hardware strategy, and whether that's just SIMD engines in parallel or something a bit more esoteric, they all say the software problem's hard. Mm -hmm. So what are you guys doing differently? Yeah, well, so I, I was telling, explaining this to, to somebody, it's like, the software is almost too easy and it sucks you into it. So if you just look across the spectrum, like, so modern CPUs are really hard. Mm -hmm. Out of order execution, it takes, like, pretty experienced people a lot. But we run, you know, C programs, essentially, at the bottom. No matter what you do, the hardware software contract is really clear and actually really old. And that definition is, is pretty good. And then you go to GPUs where the, the thread engines are pretty simple, but you have a thousand of them or, or a lot. And then the, the genius of CUDA was you write what looks like a single threaded program per thread. And then there's a coordination layer to do that. And sometimes it works great. And sometimes it doesn't work so great. So the hardware is a little more, the hardware is much simpler than the CPU at some level. Um, but the software contract is more difficult. Then you go to AI and say, well, we're just going to run big matrix multiply, tensor transformations, uh, convolutions. You know, the, the, the hardware at some level is simpler, but it's like in the inverse proportionality. <laughs> yep. like the CPU, the software is simple and the hardware is hard. And AI, the software, the hardware is simple and the, and the, the hardware is simple and the, and the software is hard. And it's, it's harder than it has any reason to be because the number of operators, I gave a talk and said there's only five main operators. You know, make sure small multiply convolution, tensor transformation, G low, soft max. You could argue about some other details. <laughs> like how hard could that be? Well, it's running on thousands of processors. It's got local memory, global memory. It's got communications. It's got, like you name it, it's got every problem in the book and all these things turn out to be, you know, stupidly hard to coordinate and do. So, yeah, so what are we doing different? We've, we've, first, we've, we've never put hundreds of people hand coding some benchmark. That's been a fail. Yep. Right? And, and part of the reasons there's so many pivots. So there was inference and training, and there's language and vision models, and then there's sort of big and little models, and then there's, there's generative models, and then stable diffusion and models like that have multiple features inside of them all at once. They got image and language and backpass, and, and you know it's 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 pretty complicated. And if you start chasing one of those, long before you're done on, on that model, the new thing will be out, and the hand coding stuff doesn't work. So our our mission is you write AI programs and it compiles performantly, and we're starting to crack that properly. And our test is we have a library of popular models and we're running most of them, uh, most of them performantly and we're on our way to getting all of them and you know, most of those performantly. And then the other thing is we want to scale from a single chip to many chips in software, not have many layers of software between like how you code your AI model and how it gets deployed. And we've demonstrated some models on a large number of chips. Um, we're working to make that, you know, 
more productizable and, and that's making pretty good progress too. So.